Thanksgiving, basketball, and the Ten Commandments. You're watching the Shorthorn Shortcast. In recent years, State Representative Dan Flynn pre-filed a bill which would protect public school teachers if they chose to prominently display the Ten Commandments in their classrooms. We want to know what students around campus thought of this new bill. I'd say no. I don't know, maybe, like it just depends on probably like, like if you have a kid in your class that like, practices like Buddhism or a different religion and she's hanging up like Christian type posters, it's gonna be like, oh, well, well she's not gonna like me because I'm, you know, Buddhist or something, you know? Yeah. That just shows like, I guess like favoritism towards like one religion instead of being like open-minded. I got my own beliefs, but I'm not going to stand in somebody else's way to stop their beliefs that they want to. As long as they're not forcing it onto other students to follow that belief, then I don't see a problem in having their beliefs in their, in their classroom as long as they're not using it in a way of forcing us, trying to influence us to change to their beliefs. Well, it's not like he's trying to force anybody. It's just like uh, he's posting it up there. So I guess I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just like, you know, that's what he believes in. Going to be sticking around on campus Wednesday evening? Then why don't you go check out the $2 movie night at the Planetarium? You know, the one with the really, really big screen? Toy Story 3 will be showing from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m., so stop on by. Mission Arlington help is helping feed 27,000 people this year with a Thanksgiving dinner. They have over 5,000 meals that will be giving out and or delivered to families around Arlington. They still need your help. Visit missionarlington.org backslash giving to see a full list of items they need. Finally, the men's basketball team is now 4-1 on this season after taking care of Harden Simmons 88-71. to Despite a slow start and only a 5-point lead at the half against the Division III school, the Mavericks were able to put away their opponents thanks in part to strong play by freshman guard Brian Smith who finished with 14 points. The Mavericks' next home game is on November 27th against St. Edwards. That's all we have for you today. I'm Vinod Srinivasan, and thanks for watching the Showhorn Shortcast. Enjoy the break, because finals week is almost upon us. And don't forget, comment, subscribe, and rate.